Foxborough High School. It is Friday, February the 4th, 2011, and we are here. This is Foxborough Cable 8 Sports bringing you uh, the Ironman Day of Foxborough Lady Warrior Basketball. Today we are starting with the uh, freshman team, and uh, they're about to have the tip-off on the team. I'm Mark Stope. I'm joined by Paul Quadrosi, and we hope to be joined by Bob Blakely shortly to bring you today's action. Uh, bringing you the freshman, JV, and varsity games in succession. And I also hear that we have the, uh, the pleasure of having some of our uh, younger Foxborough youth basketball players playing each of the half times uh, of each of those games. So uh, the action has already started here. Foxborough Lady Warrior freshman team against the Canton Lady Bulldogs. And we have no score. We're just seconds into the game. Tip-off happening just about the time we went on air. And uh, should be a fun day, Paul. Yeah, they're coming right out with fire, pressing right away and pushing the tempo. There's something to be said for uh, freshman basketball. And I, I, for some of the younger viewers out there, uh, it's a good opportunity to have an understanding of the progression of the level of play between the freshman, the JV, and varsity uh, players. Because oftentimes you'll have a long, young player who only sees the varsity team and, and uh, perhaps look at, looks at them and says, I can't do that. Right. Well, of course, neither could those players when they were coming up through the ranks, and they learned. And here's an opportunity to see what the freshmen can and cannot do, uh, and then on up with the JV and varsity. I think uh, I think the biggest thing here is, is is you'll see that the spacing isn't there when when you're talking about the the, the uh, freshmen and JV. That they they bunch together a lot. They don't spread the floor, and it's just a little bit uh, slower, sloppier game. But I think you could correct that. Well, yeah, we got a break here. Nope. A foul on the drive. Uh, we'll try to keep up with uh, players on both teams, though we will admit, quite frankly, that having <laughs> not done broadcasts with either the freshman or the JV players, and, and Paul and I haven't coached many, many kids in town, we haven't coached any of the kids on no, these teams no. because it's been too long. So uh, we'll do our best to uh, to say who the players are and try to get their numbers and names correct and, and go from there. Uh, at the line now for Canton is Alana Carrington. I uh, would guess that she is the center for the Canton Lady Bulldogs. The rebound. She misses both of her free throws. A little fat, yeah, fast break action there. Oh, nice nice attempt with the behind-the-back dribble. Didn't fly. The situation there. I'd like to see that young lady get that ball in her left hand. I think she'd yeah. have gotten all the way to the hoop if she'd done that. She's staying aggressive on but, the boards. But, you know, she, she worked hard. That's uh, Leah Tierney. Tierney. And she worked hard to, to follow her own shot and get the rebounds and not give up. You know, sometimes you'll see young players, and uh, they'll take a shot, and then they'll kind of hang their head because they missed. Right. And we didn't Just see that there. Yeah, stay right with it. Break here. Break here. Puts they will put that away. That's number 22, Michaela Epps. Full court pressure right we like, Yeah, we like that. I was having this conversation uh, with somebody else about basketball in general. And, you know, when you're, when you're coaching in a, uh, in a small school system, you, you're really at the mercy of who's in the class that's going through. Uh, but one of the things that you can always be good at is defense. Yeah. It doesn't and matter the level of work. basketball skills. Yeah. Out or you all hustle a person on the other side of the ball. No question. Anticipation is big on defense yep. also. You yep. can think a little quicker than the next person, you're going to do well. Kenton ball on mid, not able to put it away. Put back oh, there. I good. think that's going to be a good basket. 32. Number 32, Ellie Teague yep. will be at the line shooting one for Canton. Early score here is Foxborough four, Canton two. Obviously, Canton at the foul line uh, shooting one. This is a situation here where I never could understand how the other team could... Uh, to get the uh, rebound when you have position like that, but it happens all the time off well, the free throw. That's it, that's it exactly. It's amazing. Fortunately, when, with the move oh, of the players up one notch in the lane, it happens less often. Yeah. Uh, but it still happens, yeah. and, and that's really just a matter of focus and hustle. Why did they make that move? Why, why did they push that uh, that player up from the low box? Well, I, I my view of it was that the player in the low block uh, was – oftentimes at a bit of a disadvantage just because you're so far under the basket you've actually got to move up now i i always taught the girls to make that real that jet move out and up and mm -hmm. into that player in the next position um 
but it's not something that the girls picked up on easily. It, it, no. it, some did, but it took a lot of lot of repetition on that to get them to do it. And and as you know, that body we, contact. Just, we don't we don't see enough boxing out in, in the girls' basketball. It doesn't happen in basketball. Period. Uh, yeah. I I gone. I went had the pleasure to go to a coaching clinic out in Kansas, and and I asked that question to Coach Self. And he says, we basically just teach them to, to hit and go get the rebound. They don't yeah. even stay with the box out. No kidding. No. Well, we, we know that if you if you learn to stay with the box out and, and force a player away and then move to the ball, you're creating space and opportunity. And, and one and done. If yeah, you can absolutely. hold the other team to one, uh, one attempt, you're going you're gonna to win most games. Yeah. I'm impressed with the effort on the defensive side here with the the, the Foxborough yeah. Lady Warriors as freshman team. They're hustling. Coached by uh, Coach Ellie Petrovic, who's also one of the assistants with the varsity team. We'll see an interesting mix of uh, behavior, I guess we'll we'll call it, when it comes to the freshmen, because well, you know, some of these kids didn't come up through the ranks. Yeah, uh, playing in travel basketball and, and therefore didn't have the benefit of some of that coaching and, and didn't ha don't have the skill sets yet. Yeah, this girl's got some speed. This Epps girl. Yep. A lot of errant passes here. Well, early. you know you, what you see is you see lazy passes. Yep. And one of the things is as you move up the ladder, uh, is the passes get snapped a little bit uh, better at JV and also at varsity. Although that, that has been one of my uh, complaints this year with the varsity team is way too many lazy over-the-top passes. Yeah, they, uh, the, the, they need to, you know what, the guards need to penetrate more on that on the varsity squad. They, uh, oh, nice put back there by number 20, Leah Tierney. Yep. It's too much perimeter pass, and they got to get penetration and dish out for either an open shot or something down low. Yep. Well, you, you know, the name of the game is you've got to make the defense move. Make yeah. a move, and it gives you it gives you opportunities. Yeah. We got our first sub here going in. At number number three. three is Christina Pol Politano. Yeah, let's put these numbers on the uh, the left side of this as well, make it easier for us. Yeah. And then uh, they sub too with. Uh, yeah, but that's that one player who's got yet. the wrong color jersey on, so she's just the orange kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the orange kid just got her first bound. All right, if you can't ball under their own basket here. Stay oh, I'm sorry, court. under our basket. Yeah, staying with that working. pressure. Yep. And a steal. No. And yeah, well, you know. Steal. Yeah, yeah, but that, see, that's a that's a coaching moment there because had the Foxborough player number 10, grabbed it. Uh, Jamie Lutz, had she grabbed it with two hands, yep. we'd have the ball now. She could have grabbed it with two, cleared the possession, and then dribbled down the floor. It's always a mistake, in my view, to to... to Slap at it and try to yeah. dribble catch uh, the, the the ball. It just doesn't work out well. Like ball. Oh, well, ball. they called it off of uh, Canton, so it's their ball. So Foxborough ball under their own basket there. And number twenty-three is Lauren Shea. She's got the ball under. She gets it to number twenty, and Leah Tierney. But she wasn't really in a good spot when she actually. Touched the ball. She was directly under the basket, even maybe under the back, backboard too far. Yeah. So that wasn't going to work out too well. But, you know, that's that's part of the learning process. Shoot. Seen a lot of uh, slappy play here. The arms and the hands are flying all over the place. Yeah. Generally invites calls from the referees, but... They're letting it go a little bit. Well, you know, they have to. Yeah, otherwise you, you can blow a whistle every, every two, two minutes, That's two it. seconds. You get no flow, you get no play, and then the kids really don't learn anything. All right. So I, I suspect <coughs> they, they modify the rules, if you will, just to allow play to catch a rhythm. As long, uh, right there. She yeah, had that left have. all day long. Well, it's, but that's what they have to learn is put it in the left hand and go. Yeah. Jump shot from the foul line doesn't go. Rebound over to Canton. Yeah, good, good goal right yeah, there. Yeah, that push up the floor. Really no opportunity there. Nice defensive play by Foxborough's number 24, Brianna Gold. Yeah. She's got some nice size, and she's aggressive. She, yeah, she she stayed with her. She took away the space that she wanted to go to. Yeah. And uh, that's that's huge. Nice, re oh, nice rebound there. Finder. Good use of the ver. 
her butt to clear some space, but unfortunately didn't have the, the patience to uh, know that she could hold the ball a second and then give it up to an and open And again, player. that's a little bit on the guard, too. You come right to her and when she's stuck like that and, and, and make it easy for her. Well, that's it. You get, the guard has to go to a spot that's absolutely open so the player can see her. And, uh, shot attempt. And good. Another rebound by Foxborough. A little, up. little dribble clearance there. Gives it up to the guard. Nice job there by uh, Leah Tierney. So Foxborough's number three is Christina Palatano. She brings the ball to the floor. Dishes it out to the left low post. Oh, nice yeah, left-handed yeah. move there. Yeah. I didn't notice if she was a lefty or not. Kept her pivot foot. Turned, squared her shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be even more impressed if it turns out she's not a lefty. Yeah. yeah. Which chances are... She isn't, because there's not a lot of them around. That's I'm right. one of them, but I there's know. not a lot of them. That's why I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Cassie's a left. Oh, is she? Yeah. yeah. She's the only one. Oh, Leah Tacey's left hand. Yes. Cool. Yes. All right. We uh some confusion on the floor here. I think it's a clock issue yep. here. Yeah. Uh, there seems to have been a clock reset. Yeah. Not where, I'm not sure where it was. I think it was 6-2 to two, uh, Foxborough. I think more either the score they can figure out because they've got the book going. It's All the, the time. The time is going to be more of a problem. So they'll kind of guesstimate. And they'll get it pretty close. And, yeah. And uh, it'll all work. But 6-2 to two would be the score. Foxborough with a, with a lead here. I'd like to take a moment to, to thank Fox. Thank you. Send a thank you to Foxborough Cable 8 Sports. That's easy for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> and all the volunteers that make these broadcasts possible. And, and to consider that there are an awful lot of people who uh, have other obligations, yeah. to both their family and employment. Yep. Uh, it, but took the time to come out here early in the day so that we could bring all three of these games. And the start time of this first game is 3.30 in the afternoon. And, uh, it, uh, I think it's a great tool. I always thought you could teach off a of film and uh, the kids see what they're doing right and wrong. Absolutely. And they know. get excited about what they, you know, the opportunities and what they're seeing. Right. Uh, and our, our head engineer and director is Mike Everson. Our producer is Mark Stilpe, Judy Briggs, statistician and, and graphics. Scott Daniels is replay. Frank McDowell on graphics and on cameras. We have Sue Snyder, Joy Peter, Dana Pacetti, Ed Marcotte, Ray McKenna. And, uh, of course, your announcement to Mark Stoke and Paul Quadrosi. And we hope to be joined by the talented Bob Blakely. One and only. The one, one and only, only Coach Blakely. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be by uh, soon. I, he, I know he has to travel to come from Boston. So yeah. it's, there's a little uncertainty on whether uh, these early games can be uh, attended or not. You never know if we're going to hit a, a snowstorm these days either. That's right. The roads still aren't clear. Yep. Seems like we get one every other day, right? Yeah. Run a play here. Looks like they're trying to run a play. Yeah. Oh, she's open. Oh, nice. Move. Yeah, nice little move to the lane there. Jump shot from the foul line. Go. Nice. Number 24. Uh, Brianna Gould. Brianna Gould. Nice job there. Nice play. Yeah. Found that elbow shot. Nailed it. Yeah, off of Canton on the, the harassing defense down there. Ball go over to Foxborough. Let's take a look at that last basket. Caught it right about there. Yep. Foul little, line. Yep. Little penetration. Clears the, the interior part of the lane. And, Nothing uh, but twine. A beautiful thing. Up on the elbow, double team there. Somebody's got to be open, right? Yeah. Simple math. Yeah. Last time I checked, it's five on five. Not sure what that was, but uh, ends up being a jump ball. I'll go over to Canton. It's good hustle getting out of Florida to try to save that possession. And 42 seconds here. <laughs> yep. Yep. 42 and a half seconds to go in the first quarter. Got a bad spot here in the back there, Well, yeah. We. we we never do get a good look at the uh, at the scoreboard when we're here, but generally speaking, we get the help here on, on the screen, and it's a good thing. Fox is moving. We're under 35 now. Plenty of time. 25 on the shot clock. Fox, we're looking to set something up here. Good ball movement on yeah. the perimeter. I like to see that. There another, you go again. Another yep. good attempt. Yep. Good rebound. Rebound and a putback. Another putback there. Lots of offensive rebounds. She got fouled. Nice yes. Play. She got hammered. Taken to the and floor. The girl again. Yep, Brianna Gould will go to the line shooting two. Foxborough with the 8-2 to two lead and 17.2 seconds to play in the first quarter. Well, it is fairly typical uh, freshman basketball, but I like what I see. Yeah, they moved the ball pretty yeah. well. You know, the spacing could be a little better and... Some of the passes are at their feet and stuff, but other than that, they uh, they move the ball well and they get, they hit the boards well. 
Well, you know, it, what? nice play. Oh, nice put, put back, back up there. Number twenty. Excellent job. Great tyranny. Nice Ten work. to two. Uh, what you see often, particularly, you know, then hearkening back to us being in a fairly small school, is that if you have fresh, yep. if you have freshmen, yeah, well, while it went, that count. did not count. Uh, freshmen who are further along in the development uh, will generally get an opportunity to play JV as freshmen. Right. And, and we have that he, here in Foxborough this year. So we're not even looking at all of the best players that, that there are in the, in the freshman ranks. Right. Know, some of them have moved up, and we'll see them in the JV game. But, that, yep. you know, but, but that's actually a good thing for the development of the program because now other players who haven't had that same development but have the desire have an opportunity yeah. to play, work on their skills, and, and do something to help themselves and ultimately help the team. So, it, you know, it's that trickle down. It really works out very any, well. Uh, any idea how many freshmen are on that uh, JV squad? You know, I don't know the answer yeah. to that. I, I'm going to guess it's probably four at, at a minimum. Yeah. yeah. Was, that was my recollection. I, I haven't seen the roster, but that was my recollection from uh, watching some of the games. And may as well give a listing of uh, who the <clears throat> freshman team players are. Number three is Christina Politano. Number five, Rachel Flannery. Number 10, Jamie Lutz. Number 20, Leah Tierney. Number 22, Michaela Epps. 23, Lauren Shea. 24, Brianna Gould. 25 is Danielle DeVellis. 30, Brianna Kinahan. And 31, Alicia Mortensen. So setting the floor, we have Alicia Mortensen who will be throwing the ball into Christina Politano. We also have Rachel Flannery, Leah Tierney, and Lauren Shea on the floor. I'm impressed. We've got some kids on this freshman team that actually have some size. Paul. Yeah, and they, they move well. Yeah. They're always looking for that. Athleticism and size. The rest you can kind of teach. Yeah, the rest you can't teach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can't teach size. <laughs> well, being the father of two six-footers. <laughs> I, That's I, nice. I've used that, that comment many times. All right, Foxborough ball under their own basket. Get your dribble still. Yeah. Use it. She needs, to, she needs to work on that pivot foot because she looked awkward and unbalanced there and really no reason. Yeah, shot clock second, violation yeah. there. If she had that dribble, she could have taken that yep. too. Still with the full court here. Oh. Well, since it works, I'd stay with it. Yeah, they only two two points here, so it's, it's working. There's a turnover. Oh, nice, nice clear there. Two on one. Nice the pass. Oh, a little too late getting that shot up. Get yep. blocked. Nice pump fake right there. Would have worked all day long. Oh, yeah. Had her up in the air and everything. Yep. Ball's in. Whoa. Whoa. And in and out. Off the fingertips. All right, Canton ball, sideline. Canton, Canton could be spread a lot better here, too. You're, you're allowing the team to press you half, half court. They should take a couple of their players and put them down the other end, open well, the court up. Yeah, but you and I both know that learning that spacing is, is tough sometimes. Kids, kids are in the, the learning process. There's so many aspects to the game yeah. that it becomes overwhelming. Yeah, you know, I, the, I think that's where Coach probably could have stepped in and just make that call. Take two and bring them down the other end and open yep. it up for your players. Give them a chance. Absolutely. You know, at this point, you really want them working on some individual skills, getting a comfort level, seeing the floor so they can see what opportunities are out there, and just playing nasty defense. Yeah. You do those things, and you, you've gone a long way. Oh, she had she was running the hoop. Yeah. Actually, I think she was underneath the basket, underneath the uh, the backboard, and probably didn't have a play there. Unless she has that reverse alley oop thing going. Yeah. There's a little spacing. Yep. That looks a lot better. <laughs> yes. And it's so much easier to see. Ooh, she almost dribbled down here. Almost. So, ah, she's, there she's, there she goes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a certain level of predictability with this game. But, you know, that's just awareness. Yeah. Spatial awareness. You've got a sense where you are on the floor. Not seeing a good a spread here with the Foxborough. Wow, they're, they're, to get, they're bunched together a little. We've got one kind of camped out in the lane there for multiple seconds. That didn't work out. 
Oh, I'd like to see them trap that girl, not let her free there. She went right, to, right into the trap in that corner. Yeah. Where your third man's there, automatic. Just needed somebody to step right next to the line and not let her pass. But, again, part of the process. It's all learning. And so the folks at, at home know it. When we point those kinds of things out, we're not trying to be critical of the kids that are on the floor. But what we're trying to do is, since all the announcers that do the games are past, past or, or current coaches, we try to make the entire experience a learning experience so that if you see somebody doing something and then there's a comment about it, you can say, oh, yeah, I see that she should have seen this or should have done that. Or the kids themselves can watch the well, game and, and kind of learn. We hope know, so. We hope so. Pass our knowledge on to them. First free throw does not go for Canton's number 44. That's Alana Carrington. She'll get one more here. Let's see if we get a box out right here. No. No need. Not much, yeah. not much need for it there. The ball went in. Although a couple of girls look like they yeah, stepped they in look and looked like, like they were in the right position. Yeah, they did, actually. So that's that's a positive. So Foxborough ball. score. Our score is 10, to, 10 to 3. It should be. Yeah. There you go. Just made it now. Ball taken away there. The Canton ball. Stripped, but off of uh, Foxborough. And we've got a sub there. Varsity, you won't say that sub happened. No. Ball, once the ball goes in the player's hands, play starts. Nice to see that they'll make that exception here, though, because mm. it's all about getting the kids in there. Playing and get time. Playing time. Oh. oh, nice little baseline runner there. Canton Center is uh, a physical force in there. It just moved terribly well. <clears throat> uh, but she certainly is she's not active. bashful. Yeah, she's, she's active. Not, she is active and not bashful about physical contact. So that's good. That's a good thing. I'll bode well for her as she uh, goes through the different levels. Yeah, gets herself working in the summertime. She might be able to help Canton out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, her baseline's there all day. Yeah. couple problems with that. Seeing it and doing something with it. <laughs> Down to six seconds on the shot clock. We get a shot off. Not able to come up with the offensive rebound. Ball over to Canton. I see our man Blakely on the horizon making his way over to the scorer's table, so we'll be able to say hello to him shortly. There's a drive. Nope, good drive. Let, there yeah. she is again. Yeah, let her get around nice that rebound. Edge. Nice rebound by 23. Lauren Shea. Who was that foul on? Green, 32. You know, the advantage was to Foxborough there. You, yeah. You don't want to see that foul call. It was a, a nothing little holding nah, foul on, gonna, underneath. That's what you're talking about, your fluidity of the yeah. game. You could have probably let that one. I think so. All right, so it's Foxborough ball. Leading 10-3. to 3. 349 to play in the first half. like to uh, take this opportunity to say hello to uh, our friend Bob Blakely, who has now joined us at the announcer's table. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Hi, How Coach. How you doing, bud? I'm doing well, Paul. You? Good to see you. It's good to be here. Good. How are we doing so far? Boy, it's a high-scoring affair. Yeah, 10-3, second, ten ten second quarter. Very nice. Foxborough has been uh, pressing the entire Solid game. Solid defense. Yep, playing good defense, a very harassing kind of defense. I've scored some points off of that. Nice and active it's, uh, on the boards, too. It's fairly typical freshman girls basketball. But, you know, it's all... Uh, High intensity. It's all part of the yeah. development process and a, a learning experience. They uh, play I, hard. They play hard. I, I'm pleased to see that we've got size. We've got some athleticism out there. So, uh, this is good. Yeah. I haven't seen the freshman play this year. I've seen a number of the JV games. But not, I haven't had the uh, privilege of seeing the freshman girls play. And, and uh, they're out there playing hard. It's all good. Super. All right, Canton with the ball. Center wanting to be a guard. Loses it. Ball gets tied up. Now going to get called on the hold, I think. Number five for Foxborough is Rachel Flannery. I don't think she agreed with the call, but it's not up to the players to nah, agree. No, we don't <laughs> see too many players that uh, no. give it up willingly. Yep. Admit to it. Ah, I got that puts us uh, at seven fouls, so it puts Canton at the line shooting one and one. 
can't see her number. Nicole, can't That's remember. 23. 23? Right. Yep, 23. Three, That's uh, Caitlin. Caitlin Albert. First one's good. Must have been because they're still at the line. Yeah. Well, let's see so if we get a box out one. Here. Let's see if we get a box and good rebound. Nope, just kind of tra traveled on to the ball, but it worked out. That's the problem is when it works out, it's not a good teaching experience. You need to have... You need to have somebody to play that's playing against you. It's giving you a hard way to go the whole time because it makes you play well. All right. Canton ball. They get it in. Nice little give back to the middle. But Eric Pass gets stolen by Foxborough. You know, number, number 24, uh, Brianna Gould, good for her. And she yeah. turned. She saw the play. She wasn't comfortable enough with the ball to be able to pass up quickly enough. Ultimately, that then became the problem. Yep. Yep. But uh, nice instinct. Nice, five there. Yep. Nice instinct. That's uh, Rachel Flannery. Rachel Flannery. Aggressive defense, though. You know, oh, yeah. It wasn't lazy. It was, That's it was, a hustle. It was hus yeah. you know, yeah. hustle. Move. Hustle foul. Yeah. Not, not, never disappointed with those. No. I think she had a slight disagreement with the uh, call and expressed that to coach. And <laughs> This is uh, yeah, Teague at the line. And she didn't have her feet set, though, Mark. No. Nah. Clear, clear from here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sure. I will, absolutely. I suspect, though, we're going to see that substitution is for her. Coming for her. Part of learning yeah, experience also sure. is, is the mental part of the game. You can't allow fouls to bother you like that. It makes no sense to argue with the referee, and you certainly don't want to take issue with your coach. That's just, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. Sure. You don't do that. You learn. Everybody out there, when you're particularly when you're a freshman, everybody out there who's involved with the game has been doing it a whole lot longer than you. So learn from those people. Oh, nice, yep. nice takeaway there. But there you go. Know, part, it was a slap, dribble kind of take, takeaway. She couldn't get possession of that. Like to see her get two hands on that. She would have then been able to turn, swipe the ball, and go right into the hoop. Probably or had a score. Or, or, yeah, or at least take some space on the, in the lane and then give it up on an opposite side or something. Seeing good things, though. Okay. Yep. I'd like to see your, the, the, the uh, taller players to just figure out some kind of a move inside, even if it's awkward. The mm -hmm. first thousand times you do it, at some point it becomes a little more comfortable, and then you, you do things off of that. So twenty uh, twenty got shut off to her uh, to her right, and then spun and then just took a left. Move to the yeah to the left. That's Leah Tierney, and she'll be at the line shooting yeah. too. She was fouled. Yeah, Fox, Foxborough appears to have some good size out here. Yeah. Yeah. The first time I've seen the freshman play, but yeah, Rachel Flannery and Leah Tierney. Yeah, and, and like we were saying earlier, they're they're active, coach. Yeah. They're, they're active. That's good. Yeah, everybody who's been on the floor so far looks like they understand something about basketball, which is, uh, that's a plus. And that goes, second one goes. Get in it. Can't ball. Foxborough continues with a full court press. Nice job there. Shut him off. Five second call. Good. Foxborough ball. Now, the two of you have been active in uh, youth basketball uh, here at Foxborough for a long time. You know any of these kids? You coach, had a chance no. to coach anywhere? No, we, we we're now. We talked we're past this, huh? That yeah. means we're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that at the outset, Bob, and, and, and now including you. <laughs> I'm, between the three of us, we've coached a good number of teams over the years. From third grade on up, and, and uh, time has passed us by. I'm sad to say that I don't know any of these kids. Let's see if we run this. Two minutes to play here in the first half. 11 to 4 is our score. Fox broke the lead. Set play on the inbounds from the sideline and go. get it in. Like to see that ball reversed. Really like to see somebody out here on the wing. Jump shot right side doesn't go. Uh, rebound. Loose ball picked up by Kim. Good luck. Yeah, the boys team is uh, heading off to the bus. Shot oh, there by Canton goes in. I didn't see who scored it, but uh, 
Foxborough boys team is, is heading off to Canton to play their game. That was what the good luck was about. It's a large group of them head out. That must be... Uh, there goes our whole fan base. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Well, so be it. <laughs> All right, we have a timeout on the floor. <laughs> Foxborough leading 11 to 6 now with a minute 26 seconds to play in the first half. And Coach P is uh, in the huddle designing something. Yep. Not sure if it's uh, offense or defense that she's focused on. I suspect it's probably offense because the, the swarming kind of a defense that they've shown has been working out pretty well. You know, while we're while we're waiting during this uh, this break here, mind if we switch to college basketball? I'm just curious. Go right uh, ahead. Our resident Jayhawk fan here in the middle. We're who number the, two. Who, on, the, who the Jayhawks have this weekend? Um, I'm not sure who they got this weekend, yeah. but they're back to number two in the country. Two behind Ohio State. Yeah, Ohio State yeah. had a big win last night. Lots of stuff going on in, in college basketball. There's no clear cut, uh, you know, strong team this year. So you, wouldn't, you wouldn't expect to see it's a Jayhawk fun. fan in the Northeast, but there's no, there's no one bigger than the guy. Hey, listen, uh, the in, in that case, I'll, I'll put in a pitch for my beloved Rutgers Scarlet ah. Knights. You know, they're in the process of rebuilding. They have a new coach. They lost a couple of really, really big time players who transferred out with the coaching change, and uh, they're playing hard. One it, of the toughest places it, in the country to play is that gym. Yep. Great gym. And uh, they played Pitt this past week. Pitt was number two at that point and took them to the buzzer. And they've played a number of top five, okay. top ten teams that same way. So they're on the cusp. But I'm yeah. pleased where they're going with all that. All right. Back to Foxborough Lady Warrior freshman basketball. I think we're going to try to see Coach P's play that she dialed yeah, up. There it, oh, there it is. Right there. Beautiful. Ooh. Yes. And yep. <laughs> she put it in her left hand, was going up that way. That was that was perfect. Yeah. And got Racked. Well, we're on the subject there, Coach Blakely. Who's your team? Uh, well, let's uh, let's talk about. Well, you're a Ram, aren't you? <laughs> I am. The Rhode Island Rams. Okay. And, you know, well, nothing we, wrong with we, that. We had our moment back about 12 years ago against the Jayhawks. Th th at that oh. point, a number one seed in uh, URI, I think it was the second round, knocked off the Jayhawks, yeah. went on to the Elite Eight, and yep. lost to Stanford. Uh, in a very close battle. In fact, URI was winning by five with under 50 seconds to go, and they blew it. Yeah. Um, so I think it was a turnover there. At, uh, it, it, it was a, uh, it was late, a steal. Yeah. It was a non-call on a foul. Yeah. Oh, that never uh, happened. You know, a non-call on a foul. That, <laughs> that nice interception. And, uh, yeah. Nice jump shot. So yeah. not, not having the greatest year this year. I think they're, uh, last I looked, at 13 and 8. Well, so you have some comfort. We, you know, when I talk about my beloved Rutgers Scarlet Knights, we have to go back a really long way to have a, an appreciable NCAA moment. Tournament. Well, yeah. how about 1976 Ooh. when I was there? Yeah. So you remember that far back? Yes, Jeez. I do. Well, we I were, was just becoming a Jayhawk fan then. <laughs> we were undefeated to the Final Four. Really? And got hammered by UCLA. Indi oh, UCLA, okay. Absolutely hammered. 76, I was going to say UCLA, but, Indiana. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But... Undefeated to the Final Four. That wasn't that's, too bad. That was fun. That was very good. Interesting group of, group of guys. Yeah, All right. Nice space here. But yeah, good spacing. There we go. And the ball was Pump going fake. to the right spot. Yep. Just the timing was off a little. Good Just like there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be a travel, mm, but no. not in freshman basketball on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> in case you were wondering. <laughs> 10.1 seconds to play in the first half. Foxborough hanging on to an 11-6 lead. A little, little bit of a uh, dry spell scoring-wise for Foxborough. They've had some pretty good looks. Ball just hasn't gone for them. Nice step through there. Nice job by 10. Coming yeah. disruptive. Yep, number 10, Jamie Lutz. Canton ball still. Now 7.1 seconds. I think a real important coaching moment here is to not let them get a shot. They got the shot, but it wasn't a good one. Can we fly down the floor and get the shot off? Rip. Well, she got her off in yeah. time. Give her that. Yeah. But I'd like to see her there at that very end. She's one, to the left. One crossover. Stop. You're right inside the foul line. Take the shot. Yep. You can square up then. Takes that half a second. She had time enough to do that. So that brings us to the end of the first half here. It's 11-6. Uh, Foxborough 11. Canton 6. And I guess I misspoke when I suggested that we would have uh, halftime, game time entertainment with the young kids. I think that might only be the varsity, varsity. game. Yeah. So uh, we're at 11 to 6, we'll take a timeout here. 
from our announcing duties, and we'll join, rejoin you at the start of the second half. Foxborough High School. It is Friday, February the 4th, 2011, and we're here for second half action of the Foxborough Lady Warriors against the Canton Bulldogs. This is the freshman team action, first game of our Iron Man Day, where we uh, broadcast the freshman JV and varsity games here in Foxborough. I am Mark Stopa, joined by Paul Cordrosi and Bob Blakely. Gentlemen, welcome to the second half. Looking forward to it. This is, All right. uh, what, two of, two of six halves? Yes. Don't make me do that math, Bob, particularly <laughs> later. <laughs> Our score here is 11 to 6, Foxborough with a five point lead. They actually had a, a, a convincing lead early on, 10 to 2 in the first quarter, if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah. But a uh, bit of a scoring drought there in that second quarter. I think they only scored one point, and uh, that's not good. No, no. But they had more their, attempts and crashed their, the boards. Their play, their level of play, other than the ball didn't go in the hoop, the level of play was very good right through both quarters. Uh, tenacious defense, lots of really, really good scoring opportunities. The ball just didn't happen to drop. And we're getting smiles from the Canton players as they're hearing us do our, our commentary. They don't often see that for the freshman game. That's Ellie Teague. <laughs> Hi, Ellie Teague. <laughs> so Canton ball to start the second half. Ellie Teague's looking to get it in. She overthrows everybody. I don't think we had anything to do with that. And I don't think we did it all. Oh, they're calling it off us. No, they're not off us, us. No, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, put, Ellie could blame it on us for bothering her. <laughs> well, except it was tipped by Foxborough, so she got away with it. So outside of our earshot, uh, five second. That was a quick five second call. I, yeah. I'm a Foxborough fan, and that was a <laughs> quick five <laughs> second call. <laughs> we could use some of those in varsity once in a while. All right, so the ball over to Foxborough on the five second call. Uh, good defense there by Foxborough. Setting the floor for Foxborough. Let's see who we have. We've got number three, Christina Politano. Number 10, Jamie Lutz. Number 24, Brianna Gould. Number 20, Lawrence Leah Tierney. And yes. number 23, Lauren Shea. And I didn't see who put that yeah, in. Number, number, number 20. Number 20. Leah Tierney. Excellent. Yeah. Oh. The jump ball. Jump ball there. <laughs> Contours move up. Let's take a look at that basket that I missed. Oh, nice job. Yeah. Sneaking past the hip of the nice. defensive player. Good, I, I, good I touch. Like, yeah. I like her game. She, you know, she'll make that move around the defender, and immediately she looks up to the hoop. She's looking for a way she to get it. to the hole. Yeah. That's a good pass right there. Yeah, that was a, that, she got double teamed on that, on that left side of the lane, and nice job giving it up. She looks to drive every time she gets it. I She's like going that. To the hole. She's leaning that way anyways. Well, and, and that's good. Yeah. Because even if you even if it's not smooth yet, even if you're struggling with some of the skills, the mindset. you just it's keep mindset. doing it, and the more you do it, the easier it'll come. Nice job by Canton breaking the press there. You can see that they lefty. talked about that in half. You think she's a lefty? Yeah, she's a lefty. That's good righty too. Yeah, but she's more comfortable with that left side. Yeah, you can tell. Nope. Oh. Errant pass under. Yeah, I think she was expecting thirty two to, to rotate through there. Yeah. Yeah. She should have been she stopped. Too. Yep. Oh, no press by uh, Canton there. Fox brought the ball. Number 10, Jamie Letts. Oh, not a good pass there. Canton with the loose ball picked up and move it down the floor. No. Uh, Aaron pass there. And you can, you can see, it's not unusual for freshman teams. There's uncertainty. Some of them still have to look at the ball in order to hang on to it. So then they have to pick up the ball, then look to see the floor. Mm -hmm. Whereas it, as they get their skill level goes up, they're going to be able to dribble the ball with their head up. Right. See everything. And see everything and anticipate ahead of time. She might have been better better served to uh, back that out on yeah. that. Uh, we have players back yeah. on D. Oh, shot. Doesn't go. Ball over to Canton. Like the fact that she, uh, Jamie Lutz didn't feel bashful at all about shooting that. Like to see that. Foxborough stays with its press. Can't do a much better job of breaking the press. I think we're going to see a foul there on number 20. 
Yep. Leah Tierney. Leah would have been better served to move move her feet and try to try to draw the offensive charge. Yep. I can't tell you how many thousands and thousands of times I said feet first. Mm -hmm. Get yourself in a position to make a good play. Can't not able to put put away the bunny. A little nothing uh, layup doesn't go, but they got on the offense, on yeah, on the offensive rebound, Canton will go to the line shooting two. Ellie Teague at the line. Who'd they call that foul on? That was on uh, Jamie Lutz, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, she battled. She battled a girl her own size and won that, and then the, this girl here, T, got it, and she's got a little height advantage. Yep. On her. Yep. But she battled with her. You know, what I'm seeing so far with the kids who have been at the uh, free throw line is uh, they need to be shooting those 100, 200 yeah. free throws a day. Technique. Well, and, and it's not just shooting the free throws because what you need to do is work on the proper form. What would you say, Coach? A quarter on the back of the rim there? What's that I, terminology you use? I and look for the quarter? A, look for the quarter right in the front of the rim, and, the just, the rim. and just drop it over drop it. it. Over. Yeah. And picture the shot. It's a huge, the picture that shot. Emulate it. Yeah, well, some players, they like to see the, the, the get it over the front of the rim. Other, uh, the rim. other players like to look at the back of the rim. You're a little bit less tired, so you shoot yep. to the back of the rim. Right. Front of totally the agree. Yep. Passed in there. There Nice, nice stripping job. move there. Great job. Give the ball up. Nice drive hoop. Oh, no, it doesn't go. Left. Offensive good rebound. Left, Turns and deals. Not there either. But Foxborough really hustling on the offensive boards. I like what I'm looking, I'm looking at there. Not afraid to put the ball up. Yeah, a little bit awkward there. Wrong hand. Wrong hand. Got to feet first, earn the position, and then go after the ball. But good hustle. Yeah. Good Lawrence hustle. Shea took it to the basket nice on that Oh, yeah. Break. I'm very impressed. There's All a right. good trap spot right there. Yes, indeed. Canton ball. Wheel and deal. Nothing going there. Off, uh, defensive rebound by Foxborough. What's the mistake she made right there, Coach? Brought the ball down. There you brought go. The, yeah, brought, brought the, ball the ball down, down. to her belly. You're always going to get Cardinal the, sin. Everybody, yeah. everybody can reach the ball at the belly. Yeah, you bring yeah. everybody in the play. And and, unfortunately, here, too, I mean, she did a nice job of looking for the outlet. There was nobody on the no, outlet on the that, left you're side. Right. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, no opportunity there, but I think the bigger, the, perhaps the bigger lesson, aside from don't bring the ball down, she didn't look comfortable with her pivot foot. She didn't really have one. She kind of had those feet in the cement kind of a... Problems going on. Oh, Good nice job there. there. Number 24, Brianna Gould. Gets that tipped ball and turns and puts it up right away. Scores two. Six, uh, 15 to 7 is our score. Shot by Canton. Doesn't go. Rebound, Foxborough. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get rid of it. Yeah. Push it, push it. You got numbers? No. No. Nope. Going to have to. Yes. She, was, she threw the passes if we had numbers, <laughs> but we didn't. <laughs> it's okay. That's one of those situations that when you don't have the numbers, if you know your teammates, is you drive to the low block there and then look opposite at three. I don't know if they have anybody who can shoot the three, but you look opposite at the three. I love that play because mm. everybody just collapses collapse, yeah. to the lane. Get a real comfortable look at the basket from uh, from out there at that point. You got uh, Alana Carrington on the yep. line right now. She's, uh, She's been there a few times. Yep. I think she's only made one out of her multiple free throw efforts. She's a she's a young lady. Looks like the, she could get uh, enjoy the benefit of going through uh, a shooting clinic. Yep. Yeah, she's a work in progress. Yep, she plays hard because girls don't. You know, none of them look very balanced at the line. You don't see any of them with the elbow down. You don't see the ball terribly elevated, and you're definitely not seeing any follow through directly to the to the hoop. Right. That's so critical. Nice pass. Nice pass right there. Nice oh, nice put away there. Good move. Hesitation move. Throws the defender. Good pressing action there by Foxborough. They got numbers now. Yeah, well, Canton did a nice job of getting that ball clear. Oh, Fits it in. Yep, that's the Ellie, Te Ellie Teague. Ellie Teague. All right, Foxborough with the ball, leading 17 to 9. 345 to play here in the third quarter. Coach P is calling for a skip pass. Unfortunately, she had her back to the offense, so that really wasn't going to work out. Jump shot left side just inside the three-point line doesn't go. Off of the Foxborough player, Leah Tierney, off her feet. So ball over to 
Kenton. Yeah, Kenton's doing a much better job this half with spreading the floor, breaking the press. Give it or mm -hmm. Take it herself. Literally, all the way down the floor, takes a shot. Foxborough rebound. You can see the uh, Canton JV team is showing up. All right, Foxborough with the ball. Good ball rotation there. Jump shot left side, doesn't go. Rebound weak side to Canton. Well, I need somebody to stop ball. That would be helpful. Nowhere for her to go with that. Foxborough comes up with a loose ball, number five. Rachel Flannery. Kind of kind of stuck. Sorry about that guys in the truck. Um, ball got she got kind of got stuck yeah. on the sideline there. <laughs> and we had a little bit of a ruckus because one of the headsets at the table, and uh, we're all good now though. So Canton ball under the own basket. Oh, they get it in at the low post there. How you don't deny that is a little beyond me. But get her own rebound. They got her own rebound. Put it away. So leads back down to six. Yep, 17 to 11. 2:15 to play here in the third quarter. Uh, coach is not liking that uh, differential. So I, I see one of our taller players coming back in. Canton with the steal there and a quick shot doesn't go. Weak side rebound gets put back good, by. Good hustle by Canton. Get yeah. Down the too. Chloe Shepard, number five for Canton, was in the right place doing the right thing there on the weak side. Got that little uh, easy rebound and a put back. Coach P has seen enough. This lead has shrunk to uh, four points. Calls the timeout. They were up by ten just a moment ago. Yes, they were. How quickly that went away. Well, three baskets will do that to yes, you generally. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't take long to, to score those three baskets. I'd like to take a moment again to thank, thank all the volunteers for Foxborough Cable 8 Sports. Mike Everson is our head engineer and director. Mark Stoker, producer. Judy Briggs, stats and graphics. Scott Daniels on replay. Frank McDowell also on graphics. Cameras, Sue Snyder, Joy Peter, Janet Pacetti, Ed Marcotte, Ray McKenna. Yes, and, look at the truck. And, uh, they have a, hey, guys. Nice to see you out there. Thank you for all your, your uh, volunteer time. They yeah, do an amazing they, job. They, they sure do. And, you know, it's the same... Usually the same crew, yes. at least in the truck. Uh, we've yep, had multiple, multiple volunteers uh, for the cameras this year. It's great to see the number yeah. of volunteers that are, that are helping out. Very encouraging. Actually, I was having this conversation last evening with someone, and, and I said, you know, I've been in a lot of gyms and seen a lot of basketball games. You ever and, see this? And, and most, of the varsity, most of the varsity games that you see, it's a, a guy with a handheld and another guy with a microphone. Sometimes it's the same guy. And that pretty much is it. And occasionally you'll see maybe one other camera, but I can't even tell you a school where I've seen that. And, and, we got, and, and we've got four cameras. And, and when you see the operation that we have here, we, we go four or five cameras, uh, always manned by volunteers. We've got replay. We've got graphics. We have – it's a very professional crew, and, and I'm just uh, impressed and, and not bashful about telling people about the, the product that they're able to put out. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Yeah, and beyond the commitment they make to basketball. Oh, they yeah. The commitment to all sports, all Foxborough activities. All Foxborough activities, yeah. The band events. Uh, and pay attention when you hear that ball hit the rim. Yeah. Because we know yeah. that. Our backboards are mic'd. <laughs> you know, <that's, laughs> you've got to go you to. You hear that in college hoop a lot. Right, well, that's it. That's the only, you know, national broadcasts in, in, with college hoop, you'll see that. But yeah. on the shot clock here. Plenty of time to reset. A little hold, hold there by Canton. It'll remain Foxborough ball. And the clock is still running. We might want to stay. we go. Okay. Somebody figured that yeah, out. It's okay. It's all good. The Foxborough ball, fresh shot clock. Scores 18 to 13. Just under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Jump shot left side doesn't go. Long rebound picked up by Canton. Yeah, and uh, our number five, Rachel Flannery. She's probably got pretty hold. close to three or four. Right oh, now. It, absolutely three that I can yeah. think of in, in specific. It might even be her fourth. 
Another coaching moment there for Coach P, trying to explain why the foul I'll reach in. happened. Well, up. yeah, it's, you got to earn the position with the feet. We've, we've all said that. For, feet first, feet first, feet first. Earn the right. <coughs> Good hustle. like to see players yeah. getting on the floor. Yeah. Raina Gould got on the floor after that one. Ooh, there goes our mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bursting through. Let's see what we got Finish here. That. Finish that off. Oh, good yeah. foul. Good hustle. Good oh, hustle. nice job there by number 20, Lee uh, Tierney. Yeah. Uh, now, the, the, the coaching moment there is we had a nice break going on, but we had two players on the right side of the lane. Can't do that. One, The off player has got to go to the opposite side, clear it out, let the let our offensive player get to the hoop. And then the, the second part of it is what she did is she allowed the defensive player to push her right. down the straight side of the lane instead of pushing the play into the lane. Let's take a look at that. See her there. She's coming down. Number 22, F, should have gone further to the right. Number 10, uh, Jamie Lutz. But she allowed the defender to push her off. Now, that defender was no better than even with her shoulder. So turn it to the hoop. Invite the contact. You'll get the call, and you might even get the hoop. Yeah. On the positive side on that play, you saw... You saw number 20, uh, Leah Tierney, on a nice follow, followed the play the whole Absolutely. way. He was in great position for a rebound and a basket. So oh, was... and, 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 and number 10, Jamie Lutz, and number 22, Michaela Epps, they were they were trying to do the right thing. They were hustling. They were out on the break, and that's all terrific. Yeah. It's just what you do out there, great. No, the first part is you got there. That's good. Now do the right thing once you are there. Give some space because if the defender then commits to the ball and does take away the, the drive, you got the easy bounce pass to the weak side and, a, and an easy put back there. And that's that's teamwork, and that's what we're looking for. So we have a timeout on the floor. 20 to 13 is our score. Foxborough with a seven point lead. We're bending but not breaking. This is good. Well, we got a second here, Mark, uh, on tonight's varsity game. Last time we played Canton, their guards uh, did some damage to us with. Uh, crowd in our forwards when they got rebounds. They just smother them. We weren't able to get a fast break going. Um, no, we, we, uh, I'd like to see a little boxing out on our on our guards well, to they were, keep them off our bigs. They were the first team to try to pack in the lane yeah. to try to take away our big players and invite us to take the outside shots. And I did not think that we responded to that very well because we were not kicking the ball out yep. and taking those shots. And we've got plenty of kids on the team that can shoot from the outside. Yep. So if they're, going to, if they're going to work to take away some of our interior play, because they'll never take it all away, right. you, you have to punish them with the outside shots. The other thing, too, is your third guards. Watch how, how, like I said, how they crash. And that, that leaves them susceptible for... Um, for our fast that's break. Right, sure. Oh, no, you know, no question. They're crashing. That's it. They've got no defenders up. The, the other thing that happened in that game, we had a lead late, and, and we allowed it to go away in, in, like, the last three minutes and 20 seconds or two minutes and 30 seconds, one of those combinations, and, and it ended up losing the game. But their center for Canton. Yeah, 25 points. She had a career oh. game. Leah, Leah fouled out that game, too, She right? fouled out. No, she fouled out very, very yep. late in the game, yep. but... That the center for uh, for Canton had an absolute career game, and good for her. I mean, she, she earned it. She played very, very well. Uh, we didn't anticipate it. I don't think anybody no. anticipated that. She probably, got the ball. Probably the, not even her parents. No, she got the ball at the foul line and, and, and drove left yep. every time. Yep. we got to shut that down tonight. Yep. So we know what we have to do, and it's a game, quite frankly, we should win, but mm -hmm. we not we have not been playing well no. coming into this game. We've been, we're not playing as a team. We, we got well, we're, we're, we're losing and, and not even looking good doing it, if no. you know what I mean. Yeah. So we, we need to gather ourselves. We've got three wins we have to get to get that invite to the tournament, and the games are going away quickly. Yeah. I think they've only got five or six games left that they can earn Two that spot. games today and tomorrow, right? I, I would think so. Yeah. Canton and, and Stoughton. That's and correct. Then they can beat, they can beat all the Reams. They can, I watched that game, and, uh, you know, it was a close game. Till, actually, it was a three-point game in half with 30 seconds left, and then we just exploded with 30 seconds left and became a nine-game at half. Yeah. A nine-point game. And we did the same thing at the end of the game. It was close, and we let it get away at the end. So, Well, one of the things we haven't quite figured out yet is, is, is how to play against those very athletic teams. The Olive Rames team, not a lot of pure 
basketball skills. Yeah. They graduated so many basketball players, yeah. but they are good athletically. Well, we talked just... about that one girl that hurt us uh, whose mother played at BC. And yep. She, she, she scored 21, 22 points yep. that game. you got to shut the big, the big scores down in, yeah. in, 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 high, in high school. Well, the, pro- the problem you. with that is every time we paid attention to her, somebody else was lighting it up. So they had some balance to their scoring. I don't know. I don't know if they're always that good shooting from the outside. They were particularly good against us. She had a good game. Yeah, and, and that, with that game. one player in particular had an excellent game and, and shot lights out. Now, if she does that all the time, we could be in trouble. Yeah. All right. Six minutes, twenty-nine seconds to play in this game. Shot, shot from the outside does not go. Nice Offensive rebound, rebound. Put it right back. Yeah, she she made the mistake of being a little weak instead of having a better, nice bigger base there. Three. Christina Palatano, great yeah, hustle. Yeah, it was good hustle getting down the floor. But uh, our five, rather than, let's take another look at this, because it's one of those teaching big. moments. And she's just kept it. Oh, yeah, that's a nice job running through there and stripping that away. And while we're looking at the replay, Canton scores. 22-17. Yeah, 22-17, yes. we have a five-point game. we got a ball game, number, boys. Number 44, Alana Carrington, off the inbound again. Yeah. Easy, easy. Uh, well, and that's all, that, that comes down to fronting and yep. making sure she doesn't get the ball. Right. You've got a hold underneath the there. You can't, you can't give it to her in the yeah. low post like that. Now, the last couple times down for Foxborough, I'd like to see Leah, Leah Tierney, who, who... She's had a great second half, by the oh, way. She's, she, had, she's, she's had eight of the 11 points. Is she really? Yeah, yeah, she's playing yeah. exceptionally well. But what she needs to learn how to do is have a stronger base because if she's able to then just make a move to pivot square up and go up, she's going to get a foul called, and she'll be going, oh, going up with it. That's a great pack. Oh, that was nice. Yep. Jump saw ball the open, there. That's going to be us. Fox for a ball, 19 on the shot clock. A possession arrow. Run a nice play here. Need a hoop. Got some sort of a stack play going on. Yeah, yeah five seconds there. You know, <laughs> you've got you when you when it's your players, you have to know where they're going and 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 anticipate and give them the ball before they get there. If you wait too long, just like she did there, lost opportunities. Oh, nice nice step through there. Two on one. There Good go. heads up. Nice play. Nice job. Good, good head and ball fake. Got hammered. Lauren Shea to, yep. who's that, 10? Yeah. I, yes. Uh, yeah, number Jamie, 10. Jamie Lutz. Jamie Lutz. Nice job. Oh, they called that a foul on the floor. Yeah, that looked like she was in the act of shooting Yes, there. she certainly looked like she was shooting. Wow. Head and ball fake and then on her way back up. Yeah. I'd have given her the two shots, but I'm a little biased. <laughs> All right. Foxborough ball under their own basket. Fresh shot clock off the foul. Another foul there. Number two for Canton. Alyssa Wasaki. The next one will put them in the uh, penalty. Yep. yep. Six fouls apiece. 5.22 to play. A lot of basketball. This game's going to be won or lost at the foul line, it looks like. Bounce pass up high to number three. Nice swipe move there by Christina Palatano to clear go. herself there. That was, uh, that was excellent. All right, so Christina Palatano will offer that excellent swipe. We'll now get to go to the line. Front end of a one and one. She sets. Not able to put it away. Rebound to Canton. Quick breakaway there. He's nice. nice She's really got a nice Jamie move Lutz. there. Put it up. Get it in there. Ooh. Nice little hustle and rebound. Yeah, that was actually Christina. very wise for uh, Christina to dribble that out. She recognized that she was in there amongst the trees. Oh, what a nice nice play. Boy, that's a pretty play. Oh, I'm so impressed. Leah Tierney, what an excellent play there. And as you, you pointed out, out, as you pointed out, Bob, she's got a lot of points here in the second half. She wanted it. She wanted it more yep. than the others did. Just, just picked up her fifth. Let's take a look at that. Look, look at the nose she has for, for the ball. I mean, she, she just goes. She went and got it. She just picked up a fifth field goal here in the second, yeah. half, in the second half. So that's awesome. Ten of the thirteen. Zero four eight. And be confident enough just go towards it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's not hands running, up. She's not running over people. She's right. finding a space. She's just getting in between get two hands position. to the ball. She and does go up nice with two hands. Yeah. yeah. There's our score, twenty four seventeen with uh, four fifty one to play in this the is game. Dance. JV coach's husband just uh, walked by, waved hello to the table. 
Walking a little stiff there. Looks like he's got a bad back. Hey, it's that snow shoveling, you know. Uh, yeah. You do it. Oh, it's either that, that or I, yeah, yeah, or I the it. ice. I heard the other night we had a, uh, a Foxborough Youth Basketball board meeting, and uh, Jeff and Lisa Downs apparently have been doing the three senior league girls games back to back to back Ruffin? every Ooh. Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, so, that'd uh, be enough to take that to back. <laughs> on top of co- each coaching. and Yeah. Wow. Uh, they they uh, they oh, nice volunteer. Step. Nice yeah, they do. step they, in there they, by they, Christina Palatano. They, they spend their whole weekend in the they, gym. They, oh yeah, no question. They, they give it up. Nice. They give it up for the Foxboro kids. No question about that. Good ball movement there by Foxboro. Uh, probably don't want to see that shot, but we come out. up with the rebound. Bring it out and get a good shot. There you go. Nice yeah. play. You know, we're, here Run we are. Clock, here we are with a seven-point lead. Oh, nice swipe and move left side. Doesn't go, but I'm impressed. Number 23, yeah. Lauren Shea. It was a nice job. Going to give it another effort. Also doesn't go. Boy, good, good, good pounce pass there by uh, by Jamie Lutz. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Leotini was inside to get the rebound. It got tipped out of bounds. So Foxborough ball. Fresh shot clock. Kick it out. Nothing there. Plenty of time. Yeah. She needs the wheel and see opposite. Yeah. Plenty of time. 12 seconds on the Ooh, shot clock. Jump open. shot right. Couple of offensive rebounds there. Take your time. Take, oh, no, you can't yeah, get get that. every oh, offensive boy. rebound here. That looked like a, a foul to me, but again, yeah. I'm biased. Set. Set it up. Kill good, this good patience. Oh, nice sneak in. Nice. Oh, what a beautiful play by Leah Tierney. Yeah, and a good uh, good feed by Christina yeah, Palatano. That was the whole play. Nice that was a feed. Yeah. That feed. was a sneaky good yeah. little drop step in there. She got the she got the ball just very high on the low block and uh, easy hoop goes to the line for an old-fashioned three-pointer. I like you see she's actually the first of the players that I've seen that had pretty good form and balance yeah. on, the, on the foul line. Too. Oh. She didn't. She did. Viol- lane violation. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, it might have been on her. But oh well. Still, nice form. Still good nice form. form. Probably needs to set her feet a little bit more. Have a little trust in the fact that she's nice strong enough. Yeah, nice look inside. Beautiful pass. Number ten. Uh, Jamie Lutz able to put that away. She squared up nicely when she got the ball, and she's not a big, not a big player. They've opened this game oh, up. Oh, Eleven point yeah. lead right yep. now. Three minutes left, and they look, they're looking for more. Nice drive. Oh, and even leaned it. in for the contact. Yeah, that was want to pretty. Take a little air out of that ball. <laughs> <laughs> you see how high that bounced? <laughs> yeah, it almost bounced in. <laughs> Three minutes and twenty seconds to play here in the freshman game. Twenty-eight to seventeen is our score. Foxborough lighting it up here late in the uh, late in the game to get themselves a little bit of more of a comfortable lead. Fueled by Leah Tierney. Yeah, no kidding. She's looking for more right here. Yeah, wow. nice. She's repeating that same move, and that and that's a big part of it. You Repetition. Yeah. What, what a great sound that go through. Oh the yeah. Night, huh? yeah, Coach, you know what that sounds like. What's, that? A re- what's that? When you were playing, you oh, heard yeah, a lot yeah. of that, right? So that's all you hear. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Rip, rip, rip. Nothing but net. That's it. You burn, unless burn I the call, twine, unless baby. Unless I call backboard. <laughs> brick <laughs> that clangs out oh that looked like it was off of Canton but they get the call so 29-17 is our score 3 minutes and 16 seconds to play Canton here struggling the again game. with this press yeah they're starting to get bunched up a little here yeah. well, they're going to go to 1-1 one one there yeah no, that's, uh... well they're running my favorite press break is where you, you run the big player streaks the middle Give it to her. She gives it up to the inbounds player, and away you go. I, I, I love that play. Even when the other team knows you're going to run it, they just still, they still can't stop it. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. All right, Canton's Alana Carrington at the line. She'll be shooting front end of a one-on-one. Doesn't go. Rebound, Foxborough. Nice rebound. Out it. Nice. Go. Look ahead. We got a little mini break going there here. Nice go. look. Oh, what a pass. Oh, what a nice what a pass. Nice break. Good body control there by just Leah Tierney to put that away. Yeah. Nice job. Oh, God. What's she got now, Coach? She's looking at 14, 15, isn't she? 12, 14, 15. Excellent. All right. Foxborough, I think, called the timeout, I think, largely because uh, Coach P wanted to get some substitutions in there. So with 2.56 to play here in the fourth quarter, 
Foxborough 31, Canton 17. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling fairly comfortable with this lead at this point in the game. Absolutely. There's Janet Pacetti on camera. One more opportunity to thank our Cable 8 Sports volunteers. Mike Everson is our head engineer and director. Mark Stoper, producer. Judy Briggs, stats and graphics. Scott Daniels on replay. Frank McDowell on graphics. On cameras, we have Sue Snyder, Joy Peter, Janet Pacetti, Ed Marcott, and Ray McKenna. And of course, at the announcer's table, Mark Stoffer, Paul Quadrosi, and Bob Blakely bringing the freshman action here at Foxborough High School. Foxborough Lady Warriors against Canton Bulldogs. All right, Canton Ball under the Foxborough basket. Foxborough doing a nice job defensively. Tipped away. Not able to save it. Yeah, you know, 2 250 left up by 14. 14, and then Foxborough still pressing away. I would. Don't give up on the intensity no. on defense. No, nope. absolutely. Just basketball play. You know, if I'm up 30, I'm probably not doing that, but I'm not at 14, so. And it's paying off. Shot right side, doesn't go. Canton gets the rebound. Oh, they're going to let her have that carry. Nice D. Looking for somebody to get down ahead. Epps gets the ball in the lane. Wheels and deals. Oh, what a nice look. And uh, Tierney Leah Tierney on the, on the weak side gets the easy rebound and put back. Adding to her point total. I like what we see in yeah, her. They're struggling breaking this thing, that's for sure. Yep. Well, it also looks like a couple of the players that were making it easier on the bench. breaking uh, the press earlier are now on the bench for Canton. You want to give those other players a chance to play because you never know who's going to emerge as a player. I mean, so often the freshman players are, you know, either somebody comes out of nowhere or that's the last you see of them kind of a situation. A travel called underneath. No basket there. Minute 41 to play in this contest. Canton ball. Foxborough stays with the pressure. Get it in. Immediately left the streak right sideline. I think it's squeezed off. I think it called for a block. I don't know. That's Rachel Fla Flannery. Flannery. Rachel's using all her fouls yeah. here tonight. Well, yeah, that's why she was kind of standing over there next to Coach because she knew she had her fifth. <laughs> it, took, it took them a, a little bit at the scores table to, to do the math on that. It's that four plus one thing. <laughs> All right, so Coach P is putting in a sub. We've got number 10. Jamie, Jamie Lutz. Lutz comes back into the game. You know, it's never good to foul out, but, I, you know, <laughs> Rachel Flanner, she she earned every one of those fouls, oh, yeah. but they were all hustle fouls. It wasn't anything so, that was cheap or stupid. It wasn't, you know, it was still good basketball. A long pass over the top to Epps. Doesn't, that didn't work out. <laughs> Probably an ill-advised pass there. Yeah, bring it back. I'll run the clock up. Yeah, I, I think maybe if I've got one of my centers streaking down the side there and they can see the ball a little easier, I might throw that. But not when it's another guard. Ooh, errant, errant pass there. Not able to come up with a loose ball, but good hustle by Foxborough. They don't care what the score is or how much time is left. They're just playing hard. Ooh, clear to the hoop. Ooh. No, 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 no easy baskets. Don't let her no. get the shot off. Oh, no, that's, you know, Michaela Epps decided that uh, no layups, thank you. you <coughs> yeah, there's another look, another look that foul. Yep, pretty much Play said, no, nope, if you're going to score, you're going to have to do it from the foul line one at a time. She knew. And yeah, that little and smile on her the, face. Yeah, that's, well, that's okay. Yeah. And it paid off. Yeah. Right? There you go. If it's a close game, that's a good foul, right? Yeah. All right. Make them earn it. That's it. 33 to 17 is our score. A minute 10 to play. Second free throw, no good. Foxborough with the rebound. Outlet quick. Foxborough looking to push the ball up the floor. Minute left here. Michaela Epps with the ball on the left side. Yeah. Run a good play. Oh, yeah, nice, nice look. Nice move yeah, there. Really used the bounce pack pass effectively in the second half. Yep. Yeah. We didn't see Love too to much see of that, that in the first half. No. But I'm yeah. real pleased. They that were bunched up more. Again, that's yeah. the spacing thing. Yeah, they're seeing the floor better. They're, they're spaced a little bit better. The lost start of the bounce pass has been found, which is always good.
Free throw. Nope. You could, you know, hopefully she'll get a chance to see the, the, the game. You can see there her finish was weak and off to the left, and guess what? The shot was a little weak and off to the left. Really got to finish right at the hoop. Reach inside there. But otherwise, I, I like the form she has. Good, yeah, much better release that time. Not a smooth finish, but a much better release. Panton with the ball. Get up the floor quickly. Stop the swat. A swat there on, on the foul. Probably don't want to. Coach P is saying to herself, ah, please, no more fouls. We're, we're talking about the clock for all of us that have worked the scoreboard. Oh, I can't even, I've done it during tournament play. I've been screamed at by ref, by fans. It is I get so too hungry. into the game, I forget that I get the clock. Why can't they make it automatic? Oh. Whistle goes off, yeah. the clock stops. It would be a lot easier. It's like one of those clapper units at home, right? The, it reacts to the whistle. Either you find yourself cheering in there or you find yourself coaching. But it's everything but who you're there for. For you, it's usually coaching. But yeah. well, for, can't help it. For those of us who coached, it's very difficult to convert to mm, a fan. An Announcer, table, referee, <laughs> or spectator. It's just a difficult transition. Uh, Shot Paul, there by Canton Paul, doesn't go. Paul has saved me many a times in Metro West uh, <laughs> playoff games, and I've done the same for him. Yeah. He said, hey, 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 coach, clock, clock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you either have you to just turn it on or turn it off, right? You just hope none of the fans get it because they're ruthless. <laughs> oh, yeah. Clock. They're, they're tough. And, and don't be slow with putting the score up either because they'll let you know. Shot right side by Canton. Doesn't go. Rebound, Foxborough. Nice outlet there. 15, 10, 12 seconds. Nice drive right side. Doesn't go. Hustle for the rebound. Yeah, nice tip there. Kept the ball alive. Foxborough with the uh, ball. That'll do it for us. And our final score of this freshman contest is Foxborough 33, Canton 17. Well, gentlemen, that's a good start to the day. Yeah, let's um, hope the other two foul. That's it. Like to see wins. Doesn't matter whether it's freshman JV or varsity. Preferably we see them all as wins. And uh, Coach Blakely, we have any numbers? Over you know, I, share I, with I, us? I was unfortunately not able to join you in the first half, but I get have second half numbers. Okay. Uh, and we had uh, we had three scorers in the second half. Um, Leah Tierney was 17. Nice. That's a good half. Uh, it's a great half. And uh, we have uh, Jamie Lutz with two and Brianna Gould with two. Uh, for a total of uh, 21, there were actually 22 points scored. In that second half, and for the life of me, I don't know who took the one foul shot, ah. in, but it was somebody before the uh, foul shot that was taken away. No, 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 there, was, a, no there, there was, was another one. It was something early on, and, yeah. I, and I, we were talking here, and I missed it. So, no worries. I apologize if I left somebody off the scoreboard here, but um, 21 points scored in the, uh, 22 points scored in the second half, on top of the 11 in the first, uh, for a total of 33. So, Excellent. much more productive second yeah, half. Yeah, that, that was a good second half of play. Uh, it was a lot of fun to watch that and get to know some of these uh, girls on yeah, the freshman yeah. team. They, very, look, they look okay. Yeah, look very encouraging. Good. Got a good mix of size and athleticism, and uh, it's it's a beautiful thing. So uh, that will bring us to the end of the freshman game. Again, another thanks to Foxborough Cable 8 Sports for making today's Iron Man broadcast a, uh, a possibility. Again, bringing you the freshman JV and varsity games here on Friday, February the 4th, 2011. Mike Everson is our head engineer. Mark Stoper, producer. Judy Briggs, stats and graphics. Scott Daniels, replay. Frank McDowell, graphics. Cameras, Sue Snyder, Joy Peter, Janet Pacetti, Ed Marcott, and Ray McKenna. And your announcers, Mark Stopa, Paul Cordrosi, and Bob Blakely. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me thank here this Mark. afternoon. Thanks, thank you. And uh, we'll see you shortly with uh, JV action. I'm going to grab a camera uh, for that uh, JV yep. game. And Mr. Quadrosi, we're moving over to camera. Mr. Blakely and I will be joined by uh, Dave Fay to bring uh, the, the announcing work uh, in the JV game. And see you shortly. All right. Thank you.